Today, we're doing the $100 versus $10,000 budget fishing challenge. I'm out here with my boy Fletcher today. One of us is gonna get the $100 and another one is gonna get 10 grand. We are out here today at Fletcher's Tackle Garage and we're gonna be picking out some baits, rods, reels, and any other accessories to fill out our budget. The first person to catch a fish on five different lures wins the challenge. Now it's time to decide who gets the $100 and who gets the $10,000, baby. All right, guys, this is how this is gonna work. Now I'm gonna need you to step right over here. What are you doing? Young lad, I'm gonna put a number behind my back. It's either gonna be one or two. You're gonna have to guess which one it is, and if you do, you get the $10,000 budget. Okay. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could, take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. I got the number behind my back now. What do you think it is? My lucky number is two. Okay. Your face sounds like you're holding up a one. I'm gonna go I with two. Know. I'm gonna go with two. Yeah, it was two. <laughs> <laughs> was no, I was like changing the number behind my hey. back. Like why you said two, I was like, <laughs> two. You, like you said two, I had it two, I changed it to one. <laughs> Guys, it looks like your boy is coming in with the 10 grand and we're gonna be spending that today at Fletcher's Tackle Garage. So what that means, Fletcher, is you got the $100 budget, you're actually going to be picking your tackle out first, okay. and then I get to spend 10 grand in the Fletcher Tackle Garage, and whatever I buy today, I get to take home. Um, we can rethink that at the end. <laughs> if you beat me, you can keep the $100 budget stuff. Boys, $100? Come on, come on, Fletch, you gotta be helping me out here. Dude, 10 grand? What am I getting paid that, to be in that, this video? That is a little Did I get 10k, I get 10K to be in the video? <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and start off. Fletcher, you get 100 bucks. Let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, guys, we're gonna have to pick out a rod, reel, line, tackle, and we need to get at least five lures, but I might get more just in case we need to make some like adjustments. I'd rather have more than five lures, so if I'm having trouble with one, I can at least switch to something else that these fish might be more enticed by. What if I donated 50 bucks to you? Dude, I don't I'm need. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I was totally kidding in the first place. So don't get your hopes up. I don't need any handouts, man. All right, okay. So this is what I'm thinking. We got a very small selection of rods that are under $100 that are gonna leave us room for five bluers at least. We have this guy. This is like the push button combo. This is $44.99, so 45 bucks. They give us like $55 to get some stuff. I could definitely make that work. We also have. The Zebco Rome bait caster. I think this is like similar price. It looks like it says $59.99, so that would give us $40. I'm not really like thrilled with the amount of money I have left over for either of those. So that's gonna leave us probably with this bucket here. We have some push buttons, these are like 20 bucks a pop. We got a dock demon, that's like another $20. But we do have this guy right here. This combo. Rod, reel, line, the whole nine yards is only $20. $19.99, I believe, is what this thing costs. We are actually at Dick's earlier, and I know that's exactly what it costs. So I think we're gonna go with this. I'm just gonna leave this little T-Rig on here, you know? I think that's just, you know, that's just coming. That's a little bonus, you know? Whoa! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what are you charge me? What's going on? What are you charge me for this T-Rig? <sighs> I'm thinking about 1250. 1250, dude. <laughs> what is this bullet what weight made out of? I mean, freaking tungsten. diamonds. <laughs> it's <is> tungsten. <laughs> All right, you can have it for free. Now that we got a rod, a reel, and our line taken care of, we gotta get the tackle. So let me go ahead and grab this tackle box and bring it over here so we can take a look at this bad boy. So we're gonna need to make a few selections here. Right now, I'm thinking our $20 combo. Not a lot of backbone, a lot of noodling going on. This thing is definitely more noodle-like than uh, rod-like. So we're gonna need some stuff that is just gonna kinda do all the work for me. Treble hooks is gonna be the move if the fish will bite them. So I'm gonna get a wide range of treble hook baits. We're gonna go right to some of my favorites. We got the mock bouncer, boom bada bing. This thing's about $15. That thing always gets the job done for me. I've been catching some really good fish with that recently. We also have a mock work bait. I'm kind of liking this like sexy shad color. 
This one is also $15, so we're making a little bit of a dent, but I wanted to have a lot of room for lures here. One of my all-time favorite baits, you just can't beat it, the Strike King 2-Tap, fabulous. Honestly, if you have not thrown this bait, you are missing out. This thing does nothing but catch giant fish. I promise you, this is gonna get the job done for me today. Outside of that, uh, I'm thinking we're good for this box for now. We might come back to it, but let's take a peek into some of these other ones. We got another crankbait box here, and this one has a little bit of different stuff. I was hoping that I would have a chick magnet and like a sexy shad, but I think we can make it work with the, the chartreuse, and uh, I guess it's not black, it's like kind of like a crimson red. We got 15, 30, 40, I think this is 10, so 50, 20, 70, we got 30 more dollars to spend on lures. Like, we're looking good right now, I'm not gonna lie, guys. So, I'm thinking a few top water options. Let's bust into this box. You know, nothing like throwing a little top water. We get my favorite top water of all time. The Strike King Sexy. Dog. <laughs> whoa, 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 what? Dude, that was crazy. Dude, that was crazy. Yeah, that was that took a second. <laughs> We're also gonna go with this little Strike King popper. That'll probably be good for the top water. Actually, there's one more treble hook top water in here, and that is this little wake bait. Let's go ahead and grab that too. We're looking at like mid 90s there. We got our T rig set up already, so we have that stuff with our uh, with our rod. So maybe just like. A few more soft plastics. Let's get a Rage Crawl, a Rage Menace, one of those in a different color each, just so we have options. And, or if we lose one. Outside of that, I think we have a few more crawls in another bag. Unless Noah stole them. <laughs> maybe I did. Maybe did, maybe did. Maybe I did. You'll never know. You okay? Just, I know it's kind of depressing having only a hundred dollars to spend, but. <laughs> We're good over here. We got that. We get. It comes down to you taking one. <laughs> one crawl out of each pack. <laughs> we Just need the colors. Variety. We need colors. You gotta save some I don't know what the water clarity looks like, dude, and I'm on a budget. We gotta make do. That's six baits. We need two more, and that'll put us at five dollars, which is roughly a hundred dollars. If we're like 50 cents over, and you got a problem with that? I don't care. But let's get a, grab a worm and another worm and a black and blue and a green. And I think that completes our thing. We got four different soft plastic selections. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different treble hook baits. And we got our rod set up and that comes in all at around right a hundred dollars. And we're gonna be able to make adjustments on the water when we need to, when we want to and whatever we need to do to beat Noah's butt. So Fletcher, what do you think about your $100 budget? Um, um, I promise I won't bring it. <laughs> I promise my finger trigger is, is perfectly placed. I'm thinking that this $100 budget is gonna get the job done. We have a wide range of selections. We got probably 10 different lures to go through and we're gonna be able to make adjustments on the water as needed. Okay boys, you know what time it is, baby. This is a fun prop. You know what I mean? Like, if we just whip this thing out every video, we would have a lot of fun with it. So now we get to go to the $10,000 budget. We haven't spent this much money or had this much money given to us from Daddy Fletcher on the channel before. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into it. I'm gonna set our torch down, and the first thing that I'm gonna pick out today is obviously going to be the most hefty on our budget. So if we have $10,000 to spend, you're really looking in this garage at like, what can we buy? I mean, over here, we got a beautiful flats boat that we could possibly take out, but I do not think. Yeah, this one is gonna run you a little over 10K. So what are you thinking? Like, let's let's bargain here. <laughs> are you trying to bargain? Like I mean, Maybe I could. Like, you know, throw out a number. Nine grand. I'm thinking like $9,999. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> so boys, we could always get a kayak, but dude, do you have I, any kayaks here? Yeah, man. I actually have the perfect kayak for you, dude. This is like child size and everything. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> crazy. <laughs> $250, the Quest Minnow, 
does not disappoint. You know, I actually really like it, but the problem I have with this is I actually saw what Fletcher did on it last time, and you almost sank the boat, bro. Well, dude, it's it's okay because you're you know four nine and I mean, like, dude, we're, we're, but we're balling on a budget, Fletcher. The max no, capacity not? is like. You know, five foot, 150 pounds. I mean, that works. I mean, I'm like four <laughs> seven, so it, it might it might work. You know, we actually have this twin troller boat, which we use on the channel a lot when we come over to Fletcher's. Would you be willing to sell this to me, sir? Uh, yeah, we can uh, we can bargain for this thing. Retails at about five grand for the boat. Okay. So you get about five G's in the boat. Then we got about three thousand dollars worth of electronics. That's gonna put you at about eight grand. Then this full tackle system. If you want the whole thing, ballpark. I'm thinking like 800 to 1200. What, you, what if I give you a grand, bro? Might make you feel better. What you thinking? About a grand? A grand and a hundred dollars for cinnamon okay, so value. Plus, so that literally gives eleven hundred. It's got at least a hundred dollars. Okay, eleven hundred. So that means I have nine hundred dollars to spend in your tackle shop if I purchase this whole boat. How it sits? Yeah, that's that's about. I think we got a deal. Sir. Yeah, I think we got a deal. We got a Thank deal. You. We will uh, sign the papers after the video. <laughs> yeah. like, not on camera. We don't need that information out. All right, boys. So since we just bought a brand new boat, we are gonna go into Daddy Fletch's garage and pick out whatever tackle we want. With nine hundred dollars, we can pick out just about whatever. I already have a. A lot of tackle on the boat but i think i'm going to pick out some other baits but before we do that let's go ahead and take a look at combos okay fletcher that's definitely like you got way more money way more money than that i was that at, is, but i was like actually <laughs> really thinking this like i i didn't know if i was gonna have to spend like way too much money on the boat you know dude this will set you back a whopping 7.99 yeah i don't know if I <laughs> Where's your expensive stuff, Fletcher? I think I got a little bit of money to spend. We got a bunch of spinning combos. There's some nice spinning combos here. You got the kicking. I actually really like this one. Where did you buy this thing, bro? Dude, kickingtheirbasstv.com. Link can be down below. You haven't already clicked on it, bro. <laughs> they, Dude, they need to click on it, like, right, right now. If you haven't clicked on the link already, like, what are you doing? Kickingtheirbass.com, baby. Link can be down below. I think I got to go with the kicking combo. This is only 100 bucks. That doesn't even put a damper in our budget. I think we need a spinning combo, so we're going to go ahead and lay this in the boat. Can I buy my own? <laughs> yeah, you can buy your can own buy, combos. What if I bought... Okay, 150, 150, 300, 500. Okay, we're buying all three. All three combos. Yeah, because, now let me tell you why. So we got a mock crush right here, right? Beautiful mock crush. This has better line than my other kicking combo. That line on there is old, so I really wanna have a reliable one. So we're gonna buy this, this is 250. Um, we're also gonna have another fluoro kicking combo just to have it. <laughs> <Get jealous flush. laughs> and then we have a kick and braid setup, which we can throw any top waters on. So that leads us to our next objective. We got fishing poles. We picked out four. I think we have more than enough. Let's go ahead and get Wait. over to the baits. Have you hit $900, man? You got a lot of fishing okay. rods. So $250 on that one, $150 on each kicking combo. That's so that's $550 plus $100 kicking combo. That's only $650 out of my $900 budget. So I got $250 to spend on baits. <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely use some more of this. So maybe does, does this work? Yeah, that might might just load the back of the boat. Hope oh, that we yeah. don't sink. Yeah, that's what I should have bought and just sunk your boat. <laughs> so boys, I love traps. I think we're gonna go with this two tap right here. Gotta make it happen. I'm a junkie for rage crawls. It's gotta go in the box. You know, do you want any of my tackle boxes? These are like hundred dollars a pop. Hundred dollars a pop. We got about seven dollars plus five bucks. We got about twelve bucks. 100 bucks to leave us. Okay. Let's see what we're working with. Why am I, why am I picking out individual baits? This one's got a lot. You wide. have a full body. You have literally a full tackle system. I'm gonna buy both of these. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me double check on something. Hold on, sir. I'm running extremely low on hooks and terminal tackle. Okay. Well, it looks like I got a couple wide gap hooks. That's what I need. You got bullet weights. That's a bullet weights. Yeah, that's pretty good, dude. I think I'm gonna call it there. I think we were about at 9,950 bucks. Just about if I got those two tackle boxes. You sure you don't want to spend that extra 50? What you got for me, man? Um, nothing. <laughs> what about the torch, bro? Give me a discount on that. Dude, thing. I got just a thing. $50, follow me. Follow me. Yeah, what you got for me, man? No peeking, no peeking, no peeking. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Fletcher, how much is this mo electric motor, bro? Uh, like two grand. Dude, I probably could have bought it on the back of it. <laughs> yeah. We can't go back on it, man. Yeah. Maybe next video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Fletcher, you done over there, man? You know, we're just, I'm giving just you a little a sweet variety time. pack, a little flair for your fishing adventure. And, you know, if I'm going to get give you these 
these special bays, I expect to you himself. to use at least one of them. To? And if you don't, I'm, you Listen know, my feelings are gonna be hurt. So, What'd you say? I couldn't hear you. We got a few things. We got a few things. This is a nice little fifty dollar uh -oh. package. What? Fifty bucks for all of that? <laughs> for all of these? That's a steal, bro. <laughs> we got a lizard, top water lizard, a top water turtle. Bro, the lizard's broken in half. <laughs> That's, like, is it the, it's this, a thought the that counts. Okay, it is, it is. Thank you, Fletcher. A crab. <laughs> that thing, this thing actually kind of looks Bro, that thing would probably get smocked. And, uh, and a bat. Why not add some weird lures to the challenge? <laughs> I don't know if I will fish with them today. That's why you guys got to stay tuned and find out. Fletcher, I got way too much tackle. Like, the boat might sink. Just Sucks like, to suck, man. Well, hey, you, you got... You got your own problems to deal with. You know, I'm just gonna do my thing with my $100 budget and you know, you can figure out how you wanna manage all this. I'm, I'm a simple man with simple things and we got one mission, catch five fish on five different lures and we're gonna get the job done. All right, boys, just got the boat in the water. You got old Fletch up there. Are you ready to make it happen? I'm ready, man, dude. I got my little bucket of goodies right here. Check that out, y'all. We got all the stuff we need to kick this guy's butt. You know, he's got all the fancy stuff. He's got ten thousand dollars worth of stuff the boat the electronics all the rods all the gear but it doesn't have the heart and the <laughs> desire that i have you can't put a price on that and you know that's going to be the difference maker today all right brother well best of luck Boom. you're gonna be on the bank i'm gonna be on the boat and the challenge starts now baby all right guys let's get into it uh let me uh let me skedaddle this way we have a good bit of bank to work with at this pond so let me go ahead and get down to the good stuff. This spot has delivered for me time and time again. I've caught a lot of fish off this bridge. There's only one move to make right now, and that's the two tap. If I can't catch a fish on this, then I'm just giving up on the challenge. All right, boys, it is time to get it started. I think I'm gonna spice it up here and throw this frog in this pocket just for a minute. You know, the sun's coming down tonight. Some of these fish might be a little more active than they should be at this hour. We might could get us a top water bite here. So I'm gonna start in this little pocket and throw around some of this grass with this frog and see if we can get a fish real quick. I can kind of skip this frog up under some of these lay downs and up in some of this grass. And uh, it'd be nice to go ahead and start one off on a top water. Rigged and ready to go. I'll start fan casting this thing across this, this back area over here. We got a lot of shade. These fish are probably starting to come out from those trees, starting to roam around a little bit. This bird is stalking my frog. If I catch a bird on top water, okay, that definitely doesn't count. If I caught a random species, that definitely counts because it's a fish, but I don't think a flying creature would count. With me saying that this is probably the best pocket to throw this frog, there might be a little telling sign right now, which I thought we'd figure that out pretty quick. Uh, they just might not want top water. So we're actually gonna put this rod down. I actually have another bait rigged up that we used previously that I've had so much fun with, which is a lizard. Texas rig lizard. We have been killing it on that recently and I have a lot of confidence in it. So let's give it a shot. Nothing on the first cast. My prediction is five casts with the two tap. Then that's all it's gonna take. Oh, two casts, <laughs> two casts, that's all it took. Oh man, and my gut instinct was right. Come on in here, baby. Come on in here. We got one, Noah. That is not good. Fletcher's already on board, bro. Yes, sir. Get your booty on the bank. Boom, bada bing, she's stuck in the grass. So let's go get her. Don't come off here. Do not come off here. We need you on the bank in my hands to count. Got her in the hands. Fish number one, bait number one. Four more to go. I haven't heard any ruckus from Noah, so I think we're in the lead right now. $100 budget, going to work. That's what I'm talking about, that heart, grit, and determination that Noah just doesn't have. I got it, and it's gonna be the difference maker here today. It's actually a really big fish. That's the glorious part about us spending this money on the boat and the grass. I can try to target some of these fish out deeper that Fletcher won't be able to see. That could either haunt us or it could help us. Give her a snip it a snip. Boom bada bing. Crank bite seems to be kind of fire. Not gonna lie, guys. Not gonna lie. A little mog bouncer. Never hurt nobody. Besides Noah's feelings from dominating him in every challenge that I've 
use this bait in. Big mistake. I just caught this fish, but I didn't have my GoPro rolling and I hate to say it, but I don't think that counts. That's gonna set us back big time. Oh my gosh. What a huge mistake on my part. I just don't think it's fair if you guys didn't see me catch it. And uh, I actually targeted some of these fish down on the bottom with this active target. And I reeled that chatter donk right by him and he just freaking destroyed it. But maybe there's a couple in the area that we can get the bite. They're right off this steep bank here. That's the one of the steepest banks in the pond. Let's see if we can get another one to bite. That sucks, boys. I just want to play ethical here. Oh. And I just got bit. That's why you play ethical. Because next cast, you're just going to get slammed. Let's go, baby. Here we go. First bait. Checked off the list pretty much twice. And that's a freaking nice one. Look at how he ate that. Dude, that's a good three-pounder. Let's go, baby. Here we go, boys. First fish done. Almost a three-pounder. He's probably two and a half. But we will take him. And that is our first bait knocked off the list. My old confidence bait. Let's get this puppy back in the water. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, no, it was on the board. Shucks. Shucks. Okay, let's fire this thing in there. It looks like he's live scoping fish out there, if I had to guess. You know, I don't need $3,000 worth of electronics. Well, we got the heart and the determination that I have. That's all you need in a life, baby. All right, boys, I'm targeting a few more right off this bank there's actually a good bit of fish up there Let's see if we can catch one on this lizard real quick knock out two baits really fast that would be very productive for us we gotta play to our strengths guys we got a flimsy noodle rod and some fluorocarbon and some treble hook baits a good combination for the dub come on one more fish off of this bridge was that just some two tap magic or is there more fish to be caught on the cranks around here? Are you scoping them out there? Yeah. <laughs> you dirty dog. Hey, I got to scope them with the $10,000 budget, boy. You dirty dog. You're going to find them stacked somewhere. Well, I got some work to do, dude. I already knocked out my favorite lure, so hopefully some fish are enticed to bite some other things besides the two tap. All right, boys, I think I'd feel a little better off tying on a two tap. I feel like I have more confidence. These fish are actually moving a good bit too. They're not like staying to the bottom. So I'm gonna tie on a moving bait here and see if we can get one on that. Cut off this chatter donk. Tie this beautiful Strike King two tap. There he, oh. Oh my gosh, I had him right away. That is insane, man. I had a fish on my first cast on this dang two tap. See if we can get him to bite again. Golly, boys. It's only about four foot out here. I really feel like we could find some fish stacked up if we just move around. All this bank stuff has really grown up around here. Like this used to all be super fishable. My $100 budget with a lack of watercraft right now is really hindering my ability to get the job done we're gonna we're gonna be careful with the gators here again Let's approach this slow methodically i'm a smooth operator smooth operator i'm wasting too much time looking at my graph guys i can't get distracted here tonight we just gotta put fletcher to the dust make sure we don't give him a chance to catch up here Oh yeah, oh yeah, fish number two, fish number two. All right, let's get you up here. Let's get you up here. Mock bouncer, going to work. Oh yeah, that is what I'm talking about. Another healthy chunk, probably about uh, two and a half, three, eh, maybe three. I think she's just shy, high two. But all we need is numbers here today on five different lures we got two knocked out three to go we're doing pretty solid <laughs> considering the difference in budget here come on baby get out of there <laughs> oh sorry oh my gosh there's a reason they call me butterfingers back in the day sorry about that baby let's get you back in Shoo. 
Next on the list, we got the chick magnet, and that is uh, actually our last crankbait, unfortunately. So let's, uh, let's hope we can get them to bite something besides a crankbait. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I was running the boat so fast. I was paying attention to that gator. Okay, we gotta be very careful. That is our second fish, but that gator is somewhere very close, guys. I just went over him. Okay, we're just gonna flop you up, Bubba. All right, boys. That is second fish. We're on board, almost lost him because I was going dang 10 miles an hour. Did you catch him trolling? I wasn't trolling, but I was reeling ultra fast. <laughs> All right, boys, let's see what else we got. So I was a little iffy on the whole crankbait action or, or just throwing a lipless in general, but something's telling me to tie another one on and just get a reaction bite. So we're actually gonna tie on this little crankbait right here for our third bait of choice. Let's see if we can get one to commit. Come on. Eat the chick magnet. Yes, sir, chick magnet. Is that what you're throwing? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I got on. Really? <laughs> Watch us double up. So you got two. I got two, we're tied, baby. And we are both throwing a chick magnet. Who will catch one on the chick magnet first? That's the real question. I guess we're about to find out. No, it doesn't have got the riz like I do with the with the with the chick magnet. I'm gonna riz them up. Okay, guys, not happening over here. These flies are absolutely driving me crazy. So we're gonna get out of that spot <laughs> and keep the train moving. They're parallel with this tree line right here. I'll be some fish just roaming this edge. Just eat me. I just want to get a bait above Fletch. And we just be patient, get a couple more bites, and we'll win this challenge. Oh, oh no. Oh no, he came off. Dang it. Oh, that's not what we needed. I mean, one of these laydowns have to have a fish, right? That's all I see. This is a good bank. Got some laydowns. There we go. There we go, boys. There we go. Fish number three. Speak it into existence, baby. Speak it into existence. Third fish. That means third bait complete. And we're on to the fourth, baby. Just two more fish if we get this dub. I'm I'm impressed. Fletcher has two fish. He's keeping up with me. Even with having a $100 budget versus having a boat with $10,000. That just shows you guys that even though you don't have a boat, you still have a good chance of still catching fish. And that's why it's good. If you guys don't have a boat, I totally understand. Bank fishing still can be just as good as being on the boat. I believe I can cast. I believe I can catch a bass. I believe no will get last. Oh, boys, we found the race crawls. They were hidden back there. The action on this bait is spectacular. My confidence with this bait is through the roof. One of my favorite baits of all time. And I think we'll catch one pretty quick on this. Here we go, boys. Let's get after it. All right. Oh my gosh. Big old bird just went jumping. I don't know what just happened. Dude, I think we just got hit right away, boys. Oh, things just nibbling at the tail. That was like instantly, guys. I just tied on this rage crawl, this first cast. Ooh, I just pulled it. Oh, dude, he bit it again. Oh, he's got it. There we go, boys. There we go. Oh my goodness. Amazing. We were only fishing with that rage crawl for a few minutes. That's why we got to have our confidence baits. Let's go, baby. That is four fish right there. Not a big one, but he's fat. And now we just need one more fish, guys, to complete this challenge. I have no idea where Fletcher went. I saw him earlier. I don't know how many fish he's at. So we still need to hustle here. There we go. Thank you, baby. Beautiful one. A little gold glow on that fish. So pretty. There we go. That's fish number four. One more to go. All I know right this second is I've been throwing the chick magnet for a hot minute and absolutely has nothing come of it. 
besides a, a possible bite. So let's go ahead and put that back in our little container here and switch gears to something else. Uh, let's go with this, a little old mock work bait. All right, boys, I'm debating to switch it up. I threw some crawls there. I threw a lizard and then I threw a crawl. I wonder if there is a stick bait, like a little Senko somewhere, but I just don't seem to have any out of our $10,000 budget, which is just crazy. Oh, actually, we do got a Senko, and that's a very smelly one. These baits, guys, freaking stink. Oh, they're kind of dried up. Oh, that one ain't. Okay. I don't even think that one's one of the stinky ones. That's why it's not dried up. I think we're just going to put this thing on our texas rig guys i wish i could keep throwing the rage crawl but that is not how this challenge works the five fish that we catch have to be on all different baits so for our final bait we're going to try out the senko we might end up switching up if we don't get bites so stay tuned let's work our way right back down to where all the action is through the tree oh sh oh sh yep there goes the shoes that uh that was a hole in the bank all right, <laughs> now that my feet are soaking wet and I've been absolutely swarmed by no seams and every other South Carolina insect that exists, better catch a dang fish. I literally just heard a crazy blow up right under that tree and I just skipped right in there. Come on, baby. That was a good sound now. There he is, boys. There he is. Let's go. That is the fifth fish of the challenge. Switched up from the Sanko. Tied on the chick magnet. Let's see if we can land this fish. He is barely hooked. Come on, boy. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, and we'll catch you all on the next one.